Hello everyone, welcome back. We are, uh, it is uh, a beautiful day here in Western North Carolina. Closing in on the end of January and we are looking to get into some tillage. Uh, we're getting uh, into, uh, we're starting to look at weeks instead of months until time to start uh, planting some of our crops or getting them in the field but the ground's too wet to work right now and what we're going to do what we're going to talk about here is we're going to look at how to tell when the ground's too wet of course that's mud you can see um, it's just pure mud and why you don't want to work ground like that so when you when you till ground up, the idea now like you can see this little piece here is dry. You want when you till ground for it to just pulverize like that. See how that comes apart? That's what we're after when we're tilling ground. It's just to pulverize it. That allows air to get into it. It allows the roots of the plant to move through it. It unlocks the nutrients. Everything's easier, easier across the board. You can see that ground on top there is starting to dry just a little, and uh, you can kind of see how it comes apart. Now, the reason we don't want to work the ground wet is any type of movement we do to it, it, it makes it compacts it. Okay, so even when it dries out. What it'll want to do is just break up into smaller clods like this. It won't, it doesn't want to pulverize. It's like a brick. It, it becomes like a brick and you just break the brick up into smaller pieces instead of pulverizing it. So an old trick that I was shown years ago, whatever, is uh, if you get the ground and it sticks together like that, it's too wet now right here you can see that ground just barely will stick together it almost but overall it's too wet you can see this clump right up here that's exposed to the sun now see how that'll crumble up if it was all like that you could plow it but it's not so you can't you can't plow it but uh, just a kind of a brief why ground has to be dry and if you work it wet in our soils if you if you do plow it and hit too wet it takes several years of working it dry to really get it pulverized back down so it's best just to wait but uh, you can plow it a little wetter this time of year because what will happen those smaller clods will freeze and the freezing action actually will break them down but you still want it to be pretty dry there's a video of me plowing this and uh, if you'll watch the ground coming off the more boards of the plows you'll see how it breaks up pretty good coming off of them and you can also see how uh, the freezing and thawing has broken this ground down now there's been nothing else done to it since it was more board plowed and it uh, you can see it's breaking down pretty good and yes this is muddy and slick the January thaw I guess is what we're dealing with here but uh, you can see that grounds broken up pretty good and all I, I haven't done anything to it no more additional tillage since it was turned so but this something I thought I'd show you hopefully this week uh temperatures are warmer it's supposed to be nearly 60 today uh 
probably close to 50 now. I mean, it's uh, uh, feels good. Uh, feels a lot like spring. So, uh, but hopefully <clears throat> that's a little indication or a little reason on why we do what we do. So, uh, hope you learned something. Like us. Comment. Tell us what you think. If you didn't learn nothing, say, hey, I didn't learn nothing. Uh, subscribe to us. Check out our Facebook, Rocky Hollow Farm. Talk to you guys later.